My dad moved here with his family when he was about six years old. His dad had heavy horses, and he used to show them at the Royal Winter Fair. But when my dad got older, he got into dairy. That started about 1947, and it's great that the farm is continuing on in the next generation. Our story for how we got to start farming with my dad is a little bit different. Uh, we were actually living in the States. We came home. We're kind of figuring out what we wanted to do. My dad had a wonderful Mennonite family working for him at the time, and they had some health issues and had to leave. So Steve and I had a conversation and decided that we would fill in, learn how to do everything to try and help my dad in the meantime until he could actually find some consistent help. Well, 10 years later, we're the consistent help. <laughs> <laughs> but realistically, what happened was we got work with my dad, and I really fell in love with the cows and wanted to continue our family's legacy. And Steve loved me enough to keep it going with us. So that's where we're at. And now we've got our little one here, and she's already loving the cows. <laughs> when I was growing up, like we'd go to family Christmases and things, and we'd always have to be back to for chores to milk the cows so when Steve and Ashley came on we made the decision to, to build a new barn and, and put the robots in it's still a lot of work and it's still time consuming like you still have to be there but it gives you more flexibility like you don't have to be there at five in the morning and five at night to, to milk the cows you well I think the biggest difference between farm families and other families are that the farm always comes first it's not a choice, it's not a, I guess maybe we should, it's no, we have to get back. We have to take care of the chores, we have to feed the animals. So there's not a lot of free weekends, there's not a lot of free evenings. So it's just making making the farm the priority all the time because it's just the way that it is. Yeah, it's not a job, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. And everybody expects farmers to be the toughest ones out there, have all the answers, that they never ask for help. So knowing when to ask other people, other farmers, other people, family for help, one of the biggest things. Physical labor is a great stress reliever. It's one thing that farmers have is physical labor, maybe not even as much as we did in the past, but uh, we don't go to the gym. We just work out right here. <laughs> <laughs> Call it farm fit. <laughs> so I think the hope that we have for Peru dairy farming as a whole is that consumers will really start to really understand that what we're doing isn't just about finances. It's a lifestyle, it's a sacrifice. So that latte you're drinking, that milk, you know, in your cereal bowl, that ice cream, yeah, it comes from families like ours. And it comes from a lot of long days and a lot of sacrifice, but we do it because we care about our communities and we care about the product and we love our animals.